This is confounding face again. Hobo Tom. Disgusting person. My name is Dr. Keller. I'm here to talk a little bit about Hell in a Cell. And on the phone I have Hobo Tom's girlfriend. Say Hello. There she is. Yes, for, for that hobo is making pickles today. That smells of vinegar and garlic and cucumbers. Indeed. So, Miss Heather, Miss Girlfriend, are you ready to make some wrestling predictions? Yep, I'm ready. Yeah, let's start off. So, so I again shall delve into the math and the algorithms behind my reasonings for unlike certain plebes, I choose wisely and with the knowledge of math behind me. And for some reason, Hobo Tom, again, he makes terrible notes. I don't know if these matches are in order or not. But let's start off with what he has first. So we have Jeffrey Hardy versus Randall Orton in, in a Hell in a Cell match. What mannerisms of violence is that? Being the gentleman I am. Miss Girlfriend, please make your prediction. Okay, let's do it. So, so who do you predict? Jeff Hardy or, Ren, or Randall Orton? I do Jeff Hardy. Indeed. Jeff Hardy stood tall on SmackDown, so therefore, Randall Orton shall win. Although, part of my prediction, Jeff Hardy might do some atrocities in the cage, for this takes place the most ominous structure called Hell in a Cell. Please, Mr. Hardy, Jeffrey, that of Jeffrey of the Clan Hardy, please do not do anything crazy as to potentially injure yourself. We wish you to have a very long life, a very prosperous life. So the next match we have the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The New Day versus Rusev Day. These people don't even have proper names. They're not, they cannot be called Rusev Day. There is no day called Rusev Day. In New Days, there's only Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There is no New Day. And there is no holiday called Rusev Day. Hmm. Shall ponder this. I shall say the New Day emerged victorious. But they do like to engage in the eating of pancakes. And pancakes are good. And Rusev Day stood tall. And if you stand tall during the Go Home Show, shall not win. Who do you choose, Miss Girlfriend? Uh, the second one. You think it's going to be a happy Rusev day? Yes. Yes, you're among the few that want holidays. One must get back to work like Hobo Tom. Hobo Tom must get back to work. Then we have the, the Raw Tag Team title match of Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, the challengers. What is your prediction? Uh, let's do the first one. Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Although Drew McIntyre is of noble Scottish descent, they really didn't stand tall, though. Hmm. The mass dictates that Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre shall retain the championships and maintain their status in the WWE. Then we go on to a mixed tag match. What kind of unchivalrous sport is this? Force women to compete against men. Because you have Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella 
versus The Miz and Maurice. I shall go first. This Daniel Bryan fellow is some commoner from Oregon. And, and Brie Bella did not even take her husband's name, last name. What shame and mockery is this? I shall choose The Miz and Maurice. Heather, how about you? Uh, I'll be the second one. You choose a Miz and Maurice again. Again, most prudent. Again, they did not stand tall either. Then we have for the... Oh, finally, we have some decent matches. We have at least a woman facing another woman. Instead of some intergender... Nonsense. We have the champion, the, the Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey, versus the challenger in Alexa Bliss. Miss Girlfriend, who do you say wins this contest? I say the challenger. But you are for Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss did stand tall. She potentially injured the ribs of Ronda Rousey. Who I will be intrigued to know if she applies the rib tape to herself to protect said ribs, even though that does no good. If I've pulled an intercostal muscle once, it hurt. No amount of tape could have fixed that pain. Hurt to breathe, hurt to twist. You just have to deal with it. Let the body naturally heal itself. Because of his legs of bliss standing tall. I shall say Ronda Rousey retains for Raw Women's Championship. Then the next all women's affair, we have the champion Charlotte Flair versus Rebecca Lynch. I'm conflicted upon this. The math says Charlotte Flair shall be victorious. Therefore, I shall always go with what the math says. Because Becky Lynch already had her moment basking in her, all of her glory while standing over a defeated and broken Charlotte Flair while being very villainous and coming out of the crowd for a surprise attack. But Charlotte Flair did not see. So therefore, I shall say Charlotte Flair retains Woman SmackDown Championship. Miss Girlfriend, how say you? I'm going to do Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Rebecca Lynch. Yes, these commoners use common names. Must. Why is my hat? I got all this foul smelling vinegar. All through the, the airflow and convection currents. This domicile where the hobo dwells. Then we finally get to the true championship matches. In the first championship match you have AJ Styles the champion versus the villainous the treacherous the devious the destroyer Samoa Joe. Who shall you choose? I too shall say AJ Styles. Even though there was no true person standing tall at the end of SmackDown, both had excellent promos. AJ Styles coming from this lowly place like, place like Georgia speaks very well. And Samoa Joe is very literate. And notice his enunciations. However, I shall choose the person that you chose as well, AJ Styles. For he is declared by both himself and others in the wrestling profession as the phenomenal one. And then we have our main event of the evening. We have Roman Reigns, obviously of noble Italian descent, coming from the Roman Empire, versus Braun Strowman. 
Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, there was no true person who stood tall on the last episode of WWE Monday Night Raw. And then there, there is a stipulation of a special guest referee, Mick Foley, also known as Mankind, also known as Cactus Jack, also known as Dude Love, as the special guest official of this match. So I say because it is a Hell in a Cell match, there shall be some shenanigans. Braun Strowman will defeat Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Championship. What say you, Miss Girlfriend? I love you, the fine one. You choose Roman Reigns to retain. Interesting choice. Thank you for your insight. Miss Girlfriend, I will pass along your greetings to, to ho the hobo whenever he comes back from whatever hobos do out there. On behalf of Hobo Tom and his, I'm sure, lovely, charming, beautiful, intelligent, smart, witty, charismatic, and vivacious girlfriend, I bid you Adieu. Please have a good, safe day. And I, what is this final note? Hobo Tom will be doing a live stream, and we'll post that for all of.